ready? Time for a showdown. Let's rock. everybody my name is Tommy and this is the gallery of backyard barbecue and this is a, a smack down binders Worcestershire verse mustard right now on my uh, last video as you can see up top right there's the uh, old video you could see some pooling right and people uh, well people called me out on that pooling so I uh, tried to take my time as you can see and uh, brush it uh, nicely And on my uh, binder, and uh, now for my uh, rub, I'm going with a, a straight a salt, pepper, and garlic, right? Salt, pepper, and garlic, large grain, of course. Of course. And a little of that uh, Weber's uh, garlic, a roasted garlic. I like that stuff. It's good stuff. Yeah. It's good stuff. Just trying to keep it simple, right? I want the uh, binders to shine. Now on my last mustard video, as you can see, well, I might have used too much mustard, right? People called me out on it. So uh, this time I'm getting a, a nice uh, spread with my, uh, well, my little uh, brush there, right? Painting it on, looking good. And, uh, and listen, and that's that, right? And I'm using the same rub as I did on my uh, Worcester Shire, right? My Worcester Shire. That is a, a large grain of salt and pepper, some garlic, and of course my uh, Weber uh, roasted uh, garlic, and that's it. And uh, there you go. Now I will be running these on the uh, Pit Boss Vertical at 275 and we're looking uh, for a, a three hour cook. Now what I'm going to do is let them uh, run for an hour. After that hour I'll take them, I'll flip them, right, you'll see. I'll uh, switch uh, locations for them and I'll also spritz them, right. And then on the uh, 30 minutes, I plan to uh, spritz and uh, flip the uh, location, and you'll uh, well, you'll see that coming up. One does not need to uh, tag the uh, ribs to know uh, which is which. And I'll be using my uh, my my smart tro uh, count up timer right to uh, keep track of the. Uh, well, I'll keep track of the cook, and as you can see, we are at the uh, 60 a minute mark. At this point, I'll uh, give them a, a look, give them a, a spritz, right, and uh, flip them around, of course. And as you can see, I just kind of turn the uh, shelf, and uh, we're good to go. And I am using a 50-50, the apple juice and water, right? It's not 50-50. Now we'll uh, close these up and we'll let these uh, bad boys run for another uh, 30 minutes and then we'll uh, give a uh, check, right? Spritz, spritz, spritz. And uh, now we are at the uh, two hour mark. The two hour mark. At this point, we shall uh, turn them. Of course. We did not turn them on the hour and a half. We turned them on the uh, two hours, right? The, uh, hour and the two hour mark and of course we'll uh, give a little less spread 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 and they are uh, coming together quite nicely oh. 
Yeah. Wow. And as you can see, we are moving along quite nicely. We are at the uh, two and a half hour mark. Two and a half hour mark. I'll give them a little uh, turn, right? Getting a nice uh, pull back on them bones, of course. And a little uh, spritz, 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 why not? Okay. right about at the uh, three hour mark so I'm just uh, testing for uh, well for toothpick tender right we want to uh, we want to go through the ribs kind of like a butter right like a soft melted butter of course not really looking at a, a temperature just uh, kind of put them through the ribs right I'm going to let these go for about another 15 minutes. Give me a little turn, of course. And I think, uh, look, I think that's about it, right? That's a three and a half hours on these uh, bad boys at 275. Let's get them in the house and get them to rest for approximately 15 to 20 minutes. And uh, there you go. Now, of course, the uh, mustard right is on the uh, right. There you go. And the uh, Worcestershire on the left and we'll let those sit like I said for 15 20 minutes why not and you see we got a uh, well we got a pretty decent pullback on those bones we didn't wrap these, so we're not going to get that fall off the uh, bone type rib. And what we're going to get is a, a good taste in rib with a nice bite, right? And of course, Molly will, uh, well, she'll take anything that may fall on the ground, right? Actually, I made a little uh, special uh, ribs for her with no seasoning on it. You may have seen them underneath the, uh, underneath these ribs, right on the, uh, on the uh, pit boss that's uh well that's molly's little treat right and as you can see we got a, a nice uh well we got a decent bark on both of these ribs i can't tell the uh, difference besides color of either of the uh, two and i always like to go by taste anyway right so let's uh well let's get these uh, cut up and go from there and they look good yeah Say so we got a uh, pretty decent smoke ring, right? Oh, yeah. it's, nice. it's like a nice, a moist rib, decent bark. Got a thick grain of black pepper. Is a uh, well, that's showing nicely, isn't it? For the uh, mustard, the uh, well, it's hard to tell, but the uh, maybe the smoke ring is a, a little a less, right? But uh, yeah, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? And at this point, what we're gonna do, right? We're gonna uh, what we're gonna do our taste test. That's the most important, and we're gonna uh, take this in live. So enjoy. Alrighty, and now for some. Uh Testing, right? The uh, first up is the uh, Worcestershire, right? The uh, Worcestershire. 
shy. Got to do some smoke ring. I'd say definitely juicy, right? It's a great rib, for sure. Now the, uh, well now the uh, mustard, right? Got a nice smoke ring. I have to say, I can't uh, taste the mustard like the... Uh, that's a good looking rib, man. That is a freaking good tasting rib. I don't know. I'm gonna have to, uh, well, I'm gonna have to dig a little bit, uh, a little bit further into this test here with a little, uh, a little sweet baby raise, right? Poor me. Cheers. That is freaking good. That is a good rib, man. I mean, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try one more time. That's the uh, Worcestershire. I love that uh, salt and pepper and garlic on this uh, on the rub, the uh, basic, right, the uh, basic rub. And again, here's the, uh, well, there's the uh, Worcestershire, right, the uh, Worcestershire. Go on the uh, mustard, right? Perfect bite. I mean, they are um, both cooked pretty spot on. I'm going to name fall off the bone. But if I wanted to fall off the bone, I'd wrap them. Alrighty, so listen. The uh, one cooked it with the uh, mustard binder may have been a tad more tender. It's uh, hard to tell. There was a little bit more uh, fat uh, content in the, um, in the uh, mustard binder rib, I do believe. I'll have to uh, go back to the uh, tape and check. So maybe a little bit more tender on the uh, mustard binder. The uh, Worcestershire is, is, is how it is all the time. It's a, uh, well, it's a great rib. Um, you know, how will I do my next cook? You know, I may I, I may just do a little bit of a mustard binder. You know, maybe a thin coat is uh, all it takes. Uh, I'll flip flop probably yellow mustard, Worcester a Shire, and uh, no binder at all. Uh, either or, uh, this uh, sweet baby Ray's definitely uh, definitely is better uh, with uh, the uh, sauce on it for sure. So uh, listen, that's it. Uh, I didn't get the results I expected. I expected the uh, Worcester Shire to uh, blow the mustard away because that's how I uh, 
Well, that's how I make my ribs though, just about, just about all the time, right? So uh, I'm gonna give the uh, moisture to the, uh, the uh, tenderness, moisture to the uh, mustard, and overall taste. I mean, it's, it's really hard to tell the difference, okay? So I'm gonna have to call this one a uh, slight win to the mustard, but a overall a draw. And uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we shall see you soon.